Hi, in this video I'm going to show you how you can get a full feature printing facility in your applications using the components that come in Advantage for Windows Forms. So what I have in front of me set up is instead of Visual Studio 2010, I have dropped a WinGrid onto the form and connected to uh, some customer information that's coming from the Northwind database. So if I run this application, uh, you can see that in my form you have the ultra grid displaying customer information, five fields that's been pulled out uh, from the Northwind database using a data set. So what I do in my application is I want to enable end users to be able to take this information and print it out using their uh, printer setup. So I'm going to come back to my application and what I want to need to do first is I want to create a dialog where the user can um, can see the information before that actually goes out. So we are essentially going to use four different components to make this happen. We're going to use the Ultra Print document, the Ultra Print Preview control, the Ultra Print Preview thumbnail, and the Ultra Grid Print document. So as I'm going to move along, I'm going to show you where each of these components fits in. So first thing, what I'm going to do is I'm going to in my Solution Explorer, I'm going to add a form, which is going to be uh, my print uh, print preview. I'm going to add a new item in those forms and I'm going to call it print preview. So now you can see that this is my print preview dialog box and I'm going to drop off on the necessary components that I need on this form. So I'm going to put in a grid print document for it first. Okay, here it is, ultra grid print document. Once I have that, I'm going to go ahead and drop the ultra print preview control okay once I have that ultra print preview control uh, I'm going to dock this thing to fill up the entire space I'm going to come here dock to fill and then I'm going to drop the ultra print preview thumbnail component and dock it to the right hand side so I'm going to just say dock right and send it to back so that we have you can see that as you can see that as I dropped it on the forum the the internal uh, sort of text at design time I'm going to give me some pointers so it's saying that the preview control property has not been set and on the um, print control it's saying the document property has not been set so for to to take care of these two items I can just go to this properties window for the thumbnail control and look at the preview control property and set that preview control property to the print preview control one which is sitting on the left of it. So once I do that, that message goes away. Now this is saying that the document property is not set. So I can come here now and set its document property to the ultra grid print document that's sitting in my component tray. So once I do that, it takes care of all these design time messages and, um, and it, it looks like it's, it's all ready to go. Let me come back to my form one which contains my grid. Now in order to initiate a print document, I am going to first drop a button control onto this form and I dock this button at the bottom of my form. And it's here. Let me send this guy to back so that it aligns with the grid. Okay. Now the thing we need to do is we actually need to tell this grid print document and make this thing aware of the grid that's onto the main forum. Now how we can do that is we need to pass that instance of the grid onto this form before we call the show method on this. So I'm going to come to the um, to the to the code of this uh, print preview form and in the actually actual constructor I'm going to say just make sure you're passed your grid component in. And I'm going to say grid here and I'm going to declare a global variable for the grid. So I'm going to say ultra grid and I'm going to say preview grid. And in here, I'll just initialize this grid with the grid control or component that gets passed in here. All right. And then essentially, once the grid is passed in the constructor, we still have to make sure that the print document is aware of the grid component. So back to the code and in the load event of this print preview form I can just say this dot ultra grid print document dot grid is the actual grid, the preview grid. 
so now everything gets hooked up and um, let's run this thing and see what we have so now essentially the grid comes up same data now we have the button so let's click on the button it's doing nothing because we haven't hooked up the event yet so let me go back to my form and hook up an event for this so preview print preview pulls new up and because we are asking for the grid component the constructor we can pass in the instance of the grid that's on the form and just call print preview dot show and let's run again okay alright let's try clicking the button now and you can see that it came up the actual print preview and we have the print preview control now showing the grid it's very similar to what we have at runtime in the main form and on the right hand side you see the thumb uh, thumbnail preview component which actually shows there are actually two pages I can use the thumb component to kinda go around or pan around in my actual control or move between pages so you can see that I have both of these uh, component set up and it gives me a nice uh, print preview before I can take this document and send it off to the printer. So I can close this form, come back to my print preview and because so far we're just uh, displaying information we haven't actually sent it to the printer so let's just send this document to the printer so I can say ultra print preview control dot print and let's run it again Oops, sorry it takes in an argument which I didn't pass in the argument that it takes is actually show status dialog and we want to do that so let's set it true and now let's click on to print preview I think it's load up it gives me the progress indicator and now it's actually also is sending my entire thing to the default printer which is the Snagit editor in my case here so you can see that it is going back to the form so you have the form 1 displaying the grid click on the button you get the print preview which actually hooks everything up you have the grid information being passed from the main form to the print preview form the document is now aware of the grid that needs to uh, display in the print preview area the thumbnail works with the print preview control and then calling the print method on the actual print preview control now goes ahead and sends that information to your local printer and in this case again as I said that it's being my Snagit editor it kinda um, processes everything and sends it to my Snagit editor control so again in this quick example you saw that you can basically build up a complete printing facility using the components uh, print preview control uh, if you're printing the grid then it's going to be the grid print document and the print preview thumbnail and putting it all together, passing the right information, uh, it will all sync up with the UI controls, display the right information. Given the thumbnail uh, preview component, you can uh, pan around and uh, see what's uh, inside of your control. And then finally, calling the print method take, will take all the information and send it to your local printer or whatever printer is attached to your machine. Thanks for watching this video. Infragistics. On the web at infragistics.com.